So this question asks for the Fourier transform of a unit impulse. So we have a unit impulse or a delta Dirac function, and it's asking us for the Fourier transform. So we can simply apply the definition, which is the integral from minus infinity to infinity of x of t e to the minus i omega t dt. And x of t is a delta Dirac function. So we can put that in there. Now remember the sifting property of the delta Dirac function. When we have an integral of a unit impulse multiplied by any function, we simply find the value of t for which the unit impulse is not equal to zero, so that's at t equals to zero, and substitute that instead of the independent variable t, and we no longer need to integrate. So the result is simply e to the minus i omega zero, which is one. So what that means is that if we find so the Fourier transform of a um, unit impulse is actually a constant value. That constant value of 1 